it's real humid, guys. It's been raining for, I don't know, six days. It's kind of delayed a lot of my farm plans. But as you can see, I'm pretty dry. I'm running a dehumidifier right now. This is going to be the last video for a while that I film unedited. I just want you guys to see how it sounds before I shut about half of these off. So here's my plan. So the first thing, one of the first things I'm going to do, I'm going to take out these. There's a lot of broken fans. I'm going to repair some of them with the method that I already posted. I've got a lot of spare case fans over the years that I've acquired. But I'm going to basically splice into the ones that have broken fans. And I'll get this rig built back up and rebuilt. Do some things better like wire these on the bottom. And get it ready to mine for whenever that may be. Honestly, with, I, with what I paid for these, which basically was bear market prices, it's not really worth selling them. So I'm just going to rebuild this rig and hold on to it. Down here, this baby. This baby's going to get shut off for now. It's just not efficient enough. Uh, I think my plan right now is just to keep the 70s and 60 Ti's on with their AMD equivalents. Um, I'm probably going to swap out the CPU motherboard here and sell it because it's a pretty good one and just replace it with something worse just to make some money back. I'll probably keep this rig as normal. Everything's working fine on it. Same with this one, although this one's on Windows. I kept it there because it was stable. Uh, I think I'm going to move it to Hive once and for all. Um, next we've got this one. I Again, it's been raining forever for six days straight, and I haven't gotten around to it, but I've got two 6700 XTs I'm going to replace these last two Polaris cards that are running, and they're going to just, them along with the other uh, two other 8 gig Polaris cards I have, I'm probably just going to put them on a rig and just sit there um, and just get, wait and get ready to mine when, when it's profitable. And I'll run this one because I've been tweaking the cards along with Red Panda and the other YouTubers that have been doing it. I've, I haven't been able to get them down to 78 like everybody else, but I've gotten them down to 90, and I'm probably going to run them at 90 at least, you know, and that saves about 30 watts a card, which I should have did it a long time ago, but I've just been really busy, and it's only been about two weeks since the ETH merge, so I'm okay. Uh, this one, it's got a RTM 3900 mining. Frankly, I think I'm going to take this one down. Um, it's got two, it's got a 1660 that... As much as I love 1660s, I'm going to probably power that one down. 270 Ti's, which I'm going to move to another rig. Because uh, I want to put all the, put them all together. And you know, I'll see whether it stays on or gets powered down. And I'll move these two, which are 60 Ti's, to another rig. These two AMDs are just going to stay the way they are. They're running good. I'm going to mess around with R mode. Try to save some power. But they will be staying that way. This rig... This rig is perfect. I have no problems with it. It's four 60 Ti slash 70s and two 60s. Yeah, this rig is staying like this with no changes. This rig, I'm not sure if I posted that other video earlier, but uh, I basically took, I basically swapped out the 80 and the 80 Ti on this, and I put the 60 suit, the 2060 Super. The 2070 that I repair, had repaired for me, this one was a tough one. And then the 2060 Super that I repaired, and I put them along with my three 3060s. They're on uh, Windows, I'm gonna move it to Hive. Now this one I'll be doing quite a lot of work to. Frankly, I'm probably gonna move all my 80s and 90s to it, and then shut it off. Um, it's got a bunch of 70 Ti's on it too, and I'm gonna move those all to its own rig. Uh, so this one's probably getting shut off. And then this one will stay. It's just a 60, or it's a 70 rig. It does fine. And this one, uh, this is my old 10 series rig. I took the 1070, I repaired out. I'm going to keep it because it was the first GPU I ever repaired. And I like it a lot. I'm going to take these two out and I'm going to sell them actually. So uh, they'll be on hardware swap or somewhere else soon. Um, you know, they're not really worth keeping for me anymore. I'm sure a gamer will like to see them. Or another miner, but... You know, for me, my situation, they're not worth it. And I'll probably take my Polaris cards, clean this frame up a little bit, and get them on here and eventually get them ready to mine. And then up here, finally, we've got this rig. The plan is to take out the 60 T, the, the 90, the 80, and the 70 Ti, move them to the rigs, the 90 Ti on the leftover 80 rig, put all the 2060s and 2060, or er, I'm sorry, 
3060 Ti's and 3070's on here that are moving from other rigs and turn this one on. Or keep this one on. So the plan right now is to shut off about, I don't know, about three more rigs. I think I'll be losing about one to two giga hash, which is honestly fine. I'm actually just gonna shut this one down for the video. Sad day, but you know, they did great for me. This one right here, this 3090 Founders, that's a launch day Founders. I'm never getting rid of it. I'll repad it, you know, or it's already repadded. And it was fun while it lasted on that one. I'm gonna uh, probably take this rig apart and clean it up and get it ready. I like to have everything ready to go to be turned back on. I'll probably, in all honesty, I'll probably shuffle things around. Um, and see what you know this one this this circuit was pretty close to max it was about a 59 it was about 5,900 watts which is actually a little over the 80 percent one but it was safe it's like 81 percent so it was okay um but i'll probably just shut them off and then you know when i'm ready to turn back on or go or if i switch to another point i'll move it but right now at least till the end of the year the plan is to keep one two three four, five, six, seven, eight rigs, eight, eight rigs on, for now anyway. The Ethereum class cast rate, which is what I'm currently finding, it's going down. Uh, I, you know, honestly right now, it might not be the most profitable, but nothing's profitable. And it's the coin that I have the most faith in currently. We all have our preferences. We just gotta pick one and go with it. All right guys, well, here's just a shut up, Dave. It's, uh, October 3rd, or October 4th, I'm sorry. And Fruitman signing out. I will post an updated video once I have everything uh, changed up.